Like, this is the weirdest looking statue ever. I think it's supposed to basically be MLK pretty much, like, with no head. But <laughs> this thing doesn't really, uh, look too friendly to all ages, right? So, woke $10 million MLK penis statue insults black community Coretta Scott King kin. Even some kin of Coretta Scott King hate the new $10 million sculpture just dedicated to her and her iconic civil rights leader husband in Boston with a cousin claiming it looks like a penis. By the way, like, why is $10 million being spent on a statue? A statue. Who cares about a statue? How about you put that into programs? How about you put that money into helping people out? What's the point of literally spending $10 million on a statue? Regardless of what someone did in their past or not, whether they're a good guy or not, you just spent $10 million on a piece of metal that looks like a schlong. So the massive bronze piece titled The Embrace features two sets of arms holding each other, an artistic interpretation of the classic photo of Coretta and hubby, Martin Luther King Jr., hugging after he won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964. The mainstream media was reporting on it like it was all beautiful because they were told they had to say that. Seneca Scott, Coretta's cousin, told the Post by phone Sunday, referring to the new artwork on the Boston Common. But then when it came out, a little boy pointed out, that's a penis. And everyone was like, yo, that's a big old dong, man, <laughs> said the 43-year-old Oakland, California resident. If he had showed that statue to anyone in the hood, they'd have been like, no, absolutely not. By the way, does it make sense? You're going to spend 10 mil on a dong statue instead of putting that money to improving the hood. Does that make sense? To me, it doesn't. So he wrote scornfully in Compact Mag, $10 million were wasted to create a masturbatory metal homage to my legendary family members, one of the all-time greatest American families. Seneca told the Post that woke culture allowed the expensive abstract experiment to come to fruition. Members of the King family last week unveiled the artwork near where MLK and Corda first met in college. Martin Luther King III approved the piece, which was designed by conceptual artist Hank Willis Thomas for the organization Embrace Boston. The artwork's funding was a result of a public-private fundraising partnership the city of Boston said on its online site. It's unclear how much public money may have gone into the sculpture. Yo, why is any public money going to a statue of this dong. <laughs> like, oh lord. When we recognize that all storytelling is an abstraction, all representation is an abstraction. Hopefully it allows us to be open to more dynamic and complex forms of representation that don't stick us to narrative that oversimplifies a person or their legacy. And I think this work really tries to get to the heart of that, the artist says on his website. But Seneca told the Post, the woke algorithm is just broke. I don't know what else to tell you. If you went through all of that and that's what you came up with, something's wrong, he said. Online critics were harsh too, including some who agreed that the work was pornographic. This is awful, the British rapper and podcaster Zuby added in a tweet. Let's see. The 65,000-pound statue. Wow. So Seneca's grandfather was one of the 25 children of Jeff Scott. 
the son of a slave who became one of the Alabama's wealthiest black landowners, Seneca said. His grandfather's brother, Obadiah, fathered Coretta, whom Seneca said he met once at a family reunion before her 2006 death. Seneca told the Post that while he couldn't speak for other members of the family, he felt the 25-foot-wide, 65,000-pound sculpture was a waste of money that should be melted down. A solid bronze statue, like, what are we doing here, he asked. Is doubly insulting to the black community who still, on average, too many of us are below the poverty line, Scott said. You're spending $10 million on a bronze statue without heads on it. Man, it's a joke. Meanwhile, the best way to observe Martin Luther King Jr. Day on Monday was through action, Seneca advised. No performative, no photo ops, put your phone down and go do an act of service that no one knows about, he said. And I agree. And here's the thing, right? If you stumble upon this, if you had $10 million, how would you spend that money? If you got that money, half by private funds and half from taxpayers, how would you spend $10 million? Like, whew, Lord. Let's see some of these comments. Wow. Woke meat art is trash. This statue, the embrace is a disgrace. Ten million dollars waste of million. Some of King's kins hate it. I wouldn't pay much attention to the complaints from this bunch. Looks like a huge hot dog. Very funny. The man was a proven womanizer, but the Pravda-run MSM would never talk or write about it. I guess MLK. Well, I mean, I do know that MLK does have like a an odd history with women. Like it's kind of like a weird history with women, but still, it's like I just don't understand the sheer amount of money that was spent for this. Ten million dollars that could have gone to poor black youth. MLK himself would be disgusted by this. See, this is the thing that I pretty much like align with, right? If the whole point is basically to kind of represent what MLK basically stand for or stood for, wouldn't you dedicate this money to trying to improve these communities? Why would you spend this money on a literal statue that serves Zero purpose. Zero. Like, it's just a waste of money. Like, no one's going to care about that statue. Public art should be legible. A person looking at this piece cannot tell who the subjects are or what they are being honored for. I could just as well be, it could just as well be an abstract interpretation of people playing Twister. It's a shame that artist Hank Willis Thomas felt compelled to make something conceptual rather than making a portrait of Dr. King and his wife that the public could recognize. The sculpture does a disservice to the Kings and to the public and is a waste of the artist's considerable talent for representational sculpting. Let's see. Disgrace and a waste of what is probably taxpayers' money. Yeah, I mean, they did say that probably more than half of the funds was probably funded by taxpayers. So I haven't been able to find out who paid for this travesty. I know at least some taxpayer money 
had to use to install it on city property. Everybody loves these icons as long as they have to pay up. Let's see. Let's see, they have money for that, but limited money to actually help the black community with. I don't know, shootings, violent crime, housing, heat that works in the winter, maybe some help for families with child care, extra food or educational programs after school activities. But wait, the $10 million BBC statue will solve all their problems, money well spent. Whew, Lord. That's the thing. It's like, it just doesn't even make any sense. Like, to me, like, this is what's so messed up, right? With $10 million, right, you could technically put that money into an investment that will give maybe like a 5 to 6% annual return conservatively every single year. Right, so the amount of money that ten million dollars will still grow, you could still take that six percent or whatever, or a little bit less than that, maybe like four percent, so that it still grows at two percent. But use that four percent that it makes to grant scholarships to young black students, right? To grant like money to build some sort of like building that people could just hang out with in a safe area to improve whatever in these communities like you could literally set it up to where this money is constantly making more money and using excess money from that fund to help the black community forever right is pretty much the same concept as to all the cash that all these uh major colleges have where they have like literally buttloads of cash I'm talking like hundreds of millions of dollars. No, actually, no, not even hundreds of millions. I think they got billions. I think like Harvard and stuff have like billions of dollars. And the amount of money that they actually make from their fund can literally pay for every single student that ever comes to their school forever. Like just pay off, like basically offer free college education at Harvard. That's how much money they actually have invested and how much money they actually make per year from their invested money that it could literally pay for the, for the tuitions of every single student of their campus. You could pretty much do the same thing, but for the black community. If all these different like fundraisers or whatever pull their money together, put it into a trust, and use that money to grow, and then use the money that that made to actually fund all these different programs, he could probably do it. But I just don't understand the complete waste of money. Like, like think about it. $10 million spent on this bronze statue, snap of your fingers, it's gone. The $10 million is gone. No one wants this statue, even if you could sell it. Like, it, this money, the 10 mil, gone. Just gone. Like, there's no point to it. 